In this video, I will give you a brief introduction to operations research. Operations research, or OR, is a core course in many industrial and systems engineering programs in higher education. It is also called the management science or the decision science sometimes. OR involves a variety of techniques. They are used to create mathematical models that describe real or theoretical systems and then solve the formulated models for optimal solution to improve systems efficiency and support decision making. Simply put, OR is a scientific approach to making better decisions. Many OR problems involve achieving a certain goal by allocating limited resources. Operations research was originally called military operations research when British scientists started to use it as a tool to allocate various war supplies during World War II. It was used to deploy raiders, manage convoys, prioritize bombing missions, and control anti-submarine operations. With more and more civilian applications, the word military was dropped and it is now just operations research. Operations research requires the use of models, which are mathematical representations of the actual systems. Modeling is a process of describing a system at a high level of abstraction or simplification. It ignores the irrelevant details and only represents the relevant details. George Box, a statistician and previously a professor of the University of Wisconsin Medicine, coined this famous aphorism. All models are wrong, but some are useful. Think about it. Suppose this is the real world. Its shape is irregular. Its boundaries are blurry. It involves a lot of uncertainties. It is dynamic and changes over time. After making many assumptions, we may reduce the real world into this simplified world. Its shape is regular. Its boundaries are clear and crisp. Every parameter in this simplified world is certain and does not change over time. Based on this simplified world, we can build a mathematical model to represent it. Because our original intention was to use a model to represent the real world, and this model can only capture a subset of the characteristics of the real world, so the model is wrong. However, if we only care about a specific aspect of the real world, and the simplified world has contained the most important information of this aspect, and the parameters do not change much if we are dealing with the short-term characteristics of the world, then we can still use the model to approximate the real world and make useful decisions. In this regard, the model is useful. An operations research model is usually referred to as an optimization model. It seeks to find values of the decision variables that optimize, either maximize or minimize, an objective function while satisfying given constraints. Therefore, each optimization model must consist of three components, decision variables, objective functions, and constraints. Decision variables are also called control variables. They are variables that influence the performance of the system. The variables must be controllable. For example, we can control the indoor temperature with an air conditioning system, so it can be used as a decision variable. But we cannot control the outside temperature, so it cannot be used as a decision variable. An objective function is a function we wish to maximize or minimize. It is a mathematical expression that reflects the relation between the decision variables and the goal we want to achieve. If an optimization model has only one objective function, it is called a single objective optimization problem. If it has two or more objective functions, it is called a multi-objective optimization problem. Constraints are a series of restrictions that we impose on the decision variables. I will show you many examples of these three components later in this course. 
Here is a list of success stories and typical applications of operation research in various industries. For example, Continental Airlines used operations research to reassign crews to flights when scheduled disruptions occur. This led to an actual saving of $40 million. Samsung Electronics used operations research to reduce manufacturing times and inventory levels and resulted in $200 million more revenue. There are many others. Such financial incentives are the main reason that operations research is gaining the wide popularity in both academia and industry. Finally, I highly recommend that you watch these four great YouTube videos. They talk about the operational research analyst career and how to apply operations research in different areas with real case studies. You can find the links below this video. The first video is titled Operations Research, The Science of Better. The second is titled A Day in Life, Operations Research Analyst. The third is A New View of Analytics and Operations Research. The last one is Real World Applications of Operations Research. Okay, that is a brief introduction to Operations Research. Thanks for watching.